Now to the latest in Ukraine. Russia appointed a new hardline military commander as it prepares for an all-out offensive in eastern Ukraine. Alex Hogan reports from Ukraine. Russian forces continuing their attacks on Ukrainian cities as the war enters its 47th day. Shelling is intensifying in Kharkiv, while attacks by Russian troops are ramping up in Mariupol, where President Vladimir Zelensky says that tens of thousands are dead. But in the past 24 hours, Ukrainians have also beaten back four major attacks, destroying tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery systems. And Zelensky says his forces are now preparing to fight back against a significant Russian offensive expected in the east. They can use more missiles against us, even more aerial bombs, but we are preparing for all their actions. We will respond. Ahead of that offensive, the Kremlin has appointed a new military commander. This man, General Alexander Dvornikov, has previously led Russian troops against Syrian rebels during the civil war there. And the next few days could be crucial, with Russian morale flagging as the war grinds on. I thought it would be faster. Everything is going slowly. The Ukrainians are prepared fighters. NATO trained them well. Meanwhile, there's a new push to get the EU to stop buying Russian oil, a major source of revenue for Moscow, where some foreign ministers suggesting there is a consensus forming about the need to further isolate the Russian economy. We need to take a maximalist approach to, to sanctions, and that should include, in our view, oil. Here in the town of Strach, a pilgrimage point has been transformed into a refugee center, with priests expecting even more refugees to come in the days ahead. In Strach, Ukraine, Alex Hogan, Fox News.